Hey, I'm Scott, and you're at the Garden Pit. Yeah, this is the second video in the double header today. Today I'm uh, going to be planting uh, my brassicas. Um, first I'm going to be planting broccoli. I have three varieties I'm planting today. I'm planting Bonanza Hybrid, Premium Crop, I didn't say if it's a hybrid or not, and I'm planting Coronado Crown Hybrid. Then I'm going to be planting some cauliflower called Cheddar. I'm uh, hoping this comes up there. It's only 12, supposed to be 12 seeds in this pack. They're a pretty expensive uh, hybrid there. Then I'm going to be planting some kale. This one's called Pentland Brig. And this one uh, Nero D. Toscana Luciato, or other words, it's a uh, dinosaur kale. And uh, the last uh, brassica I'm going to be planting is uh, kohlrabi. I'm going to plant me some kohlrabis this year. I tried a couple years ago, and the uh, rabbits ate the plant, so I'm going to give it a shot to th this year. I've got two variety varieties. One called Callo. This came from the gentleman over in the Netherlands there. He sent me the seed. And a new variety called Sweet Vienna. So that's all the uh, brassicas are going to be planting this spring. Now, let me show you how I do it. I'm going to show you just uh, me planting one of them because all of them are uh, planted the same there when we first start. So hold on. All right. I'm ready to plant some uh, broccoli here. Again, I'm going to use these uh, four inch pots here. I think they're four inches. Yeah, close to four inches. Use these four inch pots. I have the pot marked corresponding with my writing on my log book here. That way I know which, which is what, because there's going to be a lot of brass because I'll be planting. They're all pretty much going to look the same when they first come up. Uh, let me fill this up with some growing medium. Make sure you, when you get some seed start, get a, get a good quality seed start and mix. It's, you know, light. You don't want nothing heavy. This uh, stuff I'm using this year is... Uh, Made by um, what's the company called? Uh, Fafford's. It's a Fafford seed start mix. All right, I'm gonna firm it down a little bit there. You want to firm it down so you get a good wicking of your uh, solution that you're gonna water it with there. Like I say, I water everything from the bottom. Especially when I'm first starting the seeds, because I don't want the seeds going all over the place. You know, I want them in a specific area. And we're going to plant these a quarter inch deep. Alright. This should be enough. Seeds very small. They roll all over the place because they're round. Just spread them around in your pot there. And they say we we will not let these grow in here a, a real long time. You don't want them to grow them in here until their the roots are getting all tangled heavily and all good. Then you then you uh, have a little problem there. It, it it you can still transplant out of this pot here with, if that happens, but it's best not to. It makes it a lot easier when you're transplanting. You don't have to try to untangle roots and snapping roots off and stuff, and you know you get a healthier plant. And I plant, you know, I like planting, starting them off this way, 
That way I, uh, I let them grow for a little bit. And when it's time to come transplant, you can always you pick out your strongest, healthiest looking plants and you, and you uh, transplant them on so you can, you know, get the strongest plant. You want, you know, you want, you want a good plant going into the garden at the end of the day. So, that, that, you know, that's why I like doing this. That way you, you, you can uh, get a very good plant to uh, transplant there. A little extra work, but it's it's worth it. Now I'm going to top it off with a little more seed starter. They say it's a quarter inch, quarter inch deep, so I'm going to put a quarter inch soil on top here. And spread it around nice and evenly. Firm it down a little bit. Uh, you want to make sure you know you you do firm it down so you can get good uh, con seed contact with the soil. And that's pretty much it. I already have the have the tray loaded up there. Get the li liquid seaweed far from concentrate, and you, that's that's what you water. And I think uh, you give your plants a little better start using the liquid seaweed than uh, regular water. And like I said, if you use when you're using water, and you live in the city. Let it sit out for a couple of days there so all the uh, chemicals will evaporate out of the uh, container. That way you get a, a lot fresher uh, water there and, and, uh, and you know, all these uh, chemicals won't cause any problems there with your germination. But that's pretty much uh, it to plant in brassicas in, in, in this way. There'll be uh, videos following uh, for uh, sh I'll show you how I uh, transplant them. And, and uh, grow them on. We'll, we'll let you see how they go through the whole uh, growing season there. Yeah, nothing complicated uh, to plant the seeds there to your brassica plants. Uh, like you said, I'm uh, starting all, all of them at the same time. I have, what, 12 different varieties of, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, kohlrabi. Uh, I don't think I forgot anything, but uh, yeah, I'm getting them all started. These are on time. This is, today's the start day for those here in the Zone 7A section of the United States. And I think that goes up in the, uh, Canada. Somebody said uh, up in Canada that Zone 7A reaches up in there. So I was surprised there. I was chatting with somebody the other day about that. Uh, but um, yeah, today's the day to start them brassicas there. And uh, that's pretty much it uh, to this video. I'll see you next time here. I think uh, I think the next video is going to be planting peppers, man. I'm, I, you know, I'm stoked about that. It's my favorite vegetable to grow. I love growing peppers. And the, uh, the old hot pepper seed giveaway was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I just shut that down today. Um, pretty much uh, out of seed to uh, most of the varieties. I think I had two varieties left out of everything. And so uh, I hope everybody's seeds grow well for them. Uh, I sure like to see see some uh, videos and pictures of uh, how they uh, grow for them. And, uh, and uh, it's all going to be fun this year. And my new motto this year is going to be, let's grow some food together, people. Y'all take it easy. See ya.